up YouTube? It's your girl now and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, hello. I do all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can join my family see more of this hot mess. Anyways guys, so for today's video, I'm super excited. We got sent some hair care and I'm gonna be demoing out for you guys so we can see how it works. So we got sent this bad boy from Influencer and Con Air. This is the Con Air Infinity Pro Large Oval All-in-One Dryer Brush. This is what she looks like and I'm super excited because also this one comes with a volume pick and that's for root lift, which I've never seen before. My sister does have the older version of this. I've never tried it personally, but she absolutely loved it. So I'm excited to see how it works with my hair. They also sent us this card and it says that this is all that we need for quick and easy styles there's three heat settings plus a cool setting which i love the volume attachment this is for less frizz also which is awesome because as you can see your girl's hair does get frizzy and it also comes with a professional length cord which doesn't matter because your girl's not a professional this is also the retail price i actually do not know it so it is on the screen now so let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what we have i don't want to pop off my nail these are only glue ones mm. Mm -hmm. oh so we are opening it up. Finally. First attachment. Also got a little pamphlet. Ooh, uh, the volume brush. And the woman of the hour, the attachment head. Whoa, this is big. So this is what the attachment brush looks like. It's pretty big. My hair is like a medium length. I did get some inches chopped off not too long ago. But if you look closer, you can see like the little hair bristles in the bristle. This looks really nice. And this is what the inside looks like as well. So the heat goes through that and then goes through the bristles and you're good to go. I'm guessing this part is here as well, just so you have something to hold so you don't burn your fingers off. So let's go into the actual like dryer bit. Ugh, I'm not good with opening packages. So this is what the electronic part looks like. So up here is the cool setting. And then here we have the slidey bit that goes, I think low, medium, high it says. There's a light there to indicate that it's on or off. The fan is at the bottom. And then this is the professional cord that they're talking about. And from what it seems like already, it goes pretty long. I'm gonna keep it short for now. We'll see how long I do end up keeping it short. So let's go ahead and put the brush onto the dryer and ooh. So it's a pretty big size. Just to show for size reference, I have this Infinity Pro by Conair, which is a blow dryer with this brush attachment that you brush your hair out with. I know it's really dirty. Mm -hmm. But to show in size, and I hope I am capturing it, you can see that this one is a lot bigger. This is pretty big. Like this is pretty big. I'm looking at my viewfinder. Not sure if that'll actually like come into my benefit, but we'll see. I guess they keep it long so you have more precision. You can kind of like roll it away from you. I'm not sure. We'll see how it ends up working. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and let's see what we got. So let's go to the first setting. Okay, that's pretty loud. I'm realizing also that on the settings, there's a cool setting on here first and then it goes low, then high. But there is also this button. I guess this button is here is maybe if you're like too close, you're about to burn your scalp so you quickly switch it. But there is a cool setting here. So from what this feels like, it doesn't get too hot, at least in the low. So now I'm gonna try the high. Obviously the high setting is a lot hotter, but at the same time, I like the way that this transfers the heat, especially in my hand, just feeling it now. It's not like when you have a blow dryer, obviously, and it's like that direct heat. It's a lot more spread out, which I think will work in our benefit. So now let's go ahead and get into the demo. I am going to part my hair. I'm gonna keep one side regular, and then I'm gonna do the other side, and we're gonna see how it works. Okay, so I parted my hair. This side looks really weird because my hair was flipped that way before. So I'm gonna straighten this side and then leave this side. And it's poofiness so we can see how it actually works. Let me just make sure I'm like... Um, this is what my sleep paralysis demons look like. <laughs> Properly parted. As you can tell, I'm not the best with parts, but it's all good. Okay, so let's get started with this side. I'm gonna first start off with the low, and then I'm gonna go into the high. I'm probably gonna end up using high all throughout, but we'll see. So brushing through that piece, that was pretty easy and it feels really nice and soft and fluffy. Just a disclaimer though, I did get my hair done in terms of getting it washed and going under the dryer. I didn't actually blow out my hair. So you probably won't see the craziest results, but we're still gonna try. All right, so I think for me to get a good straighten on my hair, I'm definitely gonna need to use high. So we're gonna switch over to high. Feels pretty good. And we're getting straight. Obviously we're not getting like a straight straight, but 
that's pretty good. Let's continue in the, this hair. I'm really liking this because it's so easy to glide through and I'm just imagining like when I actually wash my hair and when my hair is curly again, how easy it would be to dry with this. Wow, wow, this is so crazy. Honestly, this is even easier for me personally than using like a straightener. But probably with this, if I wanted like a pin pin straight, I would have to run through with my straightener a little bit, but like look in terms of the shrinkage already, that's insane. This is worth it. I'm not even done and I'm telling you guys, this is worth it. Shoot, I might end up starting to put more heat in my hair because of this. I literally never straighten my hair. Like when my hair starts to get curly or like a lot really frizzy, I usually just start putting it up in a bun because I don't like to put too much heat. But this honestly doesn't get that hot in the hair as well. Like this is really awesome. Wow. Wow, that was so fast. I'm just gonna coat it with some oil because I didn't have heat protectant. But even like using this without heat protectant, I wasn't scared. The heat just balances out and it, it's not like hot. Like obviously it's hot, but it's not like burning your hair hot. Wow, guys, look at the difference. That's crazy. I'm gonna tilt my camera down a little bit just so you can see the ends compared. Wow, that is insane. Oh my gosh. Like, look at that. That's insane. This is really good. <laughs> okay, so I do want to test out the volume bit, even though I don't really like volume my roots, but so let's see how it works. So we're going to take this bit off and let's go ahead and put the volume bit on. So this is what the volume bit looks like. It kind of just looks like a little comb. I've honestly never used anything like this before. Let me quickly just read the instructions. Where do they go? So the instructions didn't really say, but I'm guessing I just turned this on and then kind of just bump. So we're going to see how that looks. I have a feeling I won't like how that looks because I hate when my hair is like bumpy. But for the sake of the review, we're going to do it. I'm gonna stop now because I know it works. So because my hair obviously is relaxed when my roots grow in, it gets kind of poofy already. So I don't really need that attachment, but it definitely does work even doing it for like 2.5 seconds, it literally works. And my hair is so soft, it was so easy to maneuver. And I know for a fact, just with how my hair is when it's relaxed and it's wet, if I were to use this, I would have ease. I would easily have ease. Even when my hair was in its 4C state, I think this would be very, 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 I don't wanna say like easy, easy, but definitely would get a good straight if I used it with my 4C hair. This is so awesome, because this is how I love my hair being when it's straight, like fluffy, but so like smooth. I really like this a lot. So I'm gonna quickly do my other side off camera and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I did the other side. Um, I could even do it a little bit more and have more of a straight look, but this is so good. I really like this brush, even feeling my hair right now. You know, sometimes after when you blow dry, you get those like kind of crispy bits. You literally don't get that with this. The heat is distributed so nicely through. I am obsessed. This is definitely going to be something that's going to be used in my regular routine. Well, not regular, regular, but definitely going to be pulling this out because I love the way that my hair feels right now. I cannot wait for wash days because I'm telling you wash days are going to be easier when I do them myself at home. But yeah, I would 100% recommend you guys going and checking out this hair dryer. Thank you so much to Influencer and Connor for sending this to me. I had so much fun reviewing it today. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them down below. Let me know if you would try this hair dryer because honestly, I think it is a thousand percent worth it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.